Enjoy the video. Sumimasen. So, Goni Swate Mui Deska. Yeah, um, I asked if I could sit there. Is it taken? Thank you so much. I have a bit of studying to do. Me? Um, I study linguistics. But I have a test for history tomorrow, and I'm just not as good with that. Oh no, I just know English because my casa, um, my mom, she's from Canada. I know some French too. Merci pour la conversation. But no, I just think I want to explore new places when I get older. And I love how language works. Have you ever heard of the Sapir Whorf hypothesis? It's a hypothesis about how we can only think in the words given to us. If it's not in the language, then it's not a concept we're able to learn without learning other languages. Well, then the only way to have all the thoughts is to have all the languages, isn't it? Could you imagine the knowledge of the human experience that someone could have? Well, you must have just gotten here. You can learn Japanese. I'd be happy to help you. Oh, you didn't? Hmm, interesting. I've met a few people who have gone to international schools like that. I don't know, though. How will you work here without proper Japanese? Intrusive? Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be intrusive. I'm just curious. So you're doing economic stuff. I guess that's not really language specific. Oh, you must not get a liberal arts student like me. You're a businessman. You're not a what? Non-binary? Like you don't feel like a gender? Hmm. That's interesting. Well, there we go. A new word for me to learn. Should I call you they? You know, my best friend's little brother has been debating going by she. It's not the same thing, but he's forced to wear a girl's uniform at school. He's about to turn 18 in December, but he's always worn girls' clothes. I have no doubt that it's coming from a place that's genuine. And even if it's not, it's none of my business, I guess. So what is your name? I can't just call you they. Oh, jeez. That's like the most European name ever. Where's your family from before becoming American? Can you say it again? That's so many consonants. We don't have all that many consonants in Japanese. It's hard to pronounce them all smooshed together like that. A, a pet name? But that's something a couple would do. Are you, um, I'm sure you didn't know that. What? Oh, I'm not that cute. If you met my sister, um, she's a lot cuter. I guess she's not. Well, I've always wanted to call somebody darling. <laughs> I feel like an English nanny. 
me, um, my name is Sakurabe Kikyo. It's nice to meet you too. Let me open my textbook and get looking at stuff. I'm not just here to bother you, I promise. Yeah, what is it? What? On a, a, a date? Like, for real? Listen, I'm really nothing special. I haven't been on a date since high school. Well, I know it's kind of weird to talk about an ex with someone that wants to date you. But I saw a girl in high school that's really, um, yawned at it. No, it's not that. She lives up north now. I just wasn't a valid wifey to her, and I worry that I'll never be the type of girl that people want to live with and have children with. I think that I'm too academic sometimes and need to be better at being just a girl. So that I didn't think I had any options, but... Uh, maybe that was what she was doing. But I've been afraid to find out. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, thank you, darling. I know, my lips are tingling from saying it. Darling, darling. <laughs> that was really embarrassing. But I guess not. My ex used to call me Shug, and I never did it back. It's fun to use cute names. Uh, no, Sakurabe is okay. I, I don't really like the, the pet names at me anyway. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I really, I have cuter friends. I, I'm not good at taking compliments, darling. You, you think I'm apprehensive? Um, well, sure, I guess we can. I think you're attractive too. Actually, if I'm being honest, I saw this seat was free and hoped to speak with you. So how could I say no, huh darling? No place is in mine, but let me give you my line number so we can communicate. That way, if my friends tell me about any cool places, I can pass it along. There you go. I'll send you a message later. It'll be after dinner, though. I'm going out with my best friend to eat. Yeah, of course. I have a bit of a ride, though, so it shouldn't be a huge deal. I live up in Adatiku, in the Kosuke neighborhood. Do you know where that is? It's north, heading out of the city. If you take the Chiyoda line to Kita Senju, you can get on the Sky Tree line and take it over the river. I'm right on the other bank of it. That's where I grew up. I still live with my Tosan at his house. I'd like to move out, but my best friend lives in Kita Senju, and it pays a lot for her. And then 
My other best friend lives near Akihabara, but it's a really tiny room. I guess it's lucky that someone's here. That way I don't have to work yet. <laughs> Where do you live? Oh, I didn't mean for that to sound weird. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Are both your parents still in the military? It's strange to stay in a country whose language you don't know. But I guess they must just hang out with other expats. I guess if I travel like where I want, I'll eventually end up somewhere like that. Um, it's really random where I would want to go the most. You'll never guess. Well, I've heard stories about this bay that's in Canada, and it's way on the other side of the country from where my mom lives. But during a low tide, it goes so far back that it looks like a tsunami. There's all these weird rocks that are eroded in a weird way from the water, and I really want to see it. I read about it in a book when I was young, and I used to ask my mom when I would go there, uh, back before I really understood how large North America was. Which state in America is your family from? Oh, wow. There's a lot of people from that state, huh, darling? Well, I'm glad your family ended up here. Oh, what a sweet thing to say. You're good at conversation. I hope that we can keep talking. Um, I still can't believe I agreed to a date with a stranger. I'm totally okay with it. I just, uh, I'm probably overthinking it. You wouldn't stand me up, would you? Oh, but I am overthinking it. I'm sorry. That's true. Then yes, having fun will be the goal. And if you really like me, then I guess we'll see. Oh, sorry. That must be my friend Tomochi. I'm meeting her for dinner tonight. Oh, she must be done with class. I'm in the library. Can I give you a call in a few minutes? I'm talking with someone. Someone? Is it a cute girl? Go get you some kiki and I'm rooting for you. It's not a girl, but they're cute. <laughs> Are we still on for dinner tonight? Yep, and I was going to let you know that I've already run and uh, left the post office. I'm back on campus in a few. I know you wanted to go to that Italian place, but so rainy out. Can we just get conveyor belt sushi by that place near campus? I hate to walk through the rain and be soaked for a long sit-down dinner. Yeah, as much as I'd like to go, it does seem a little unnecessary during an evening like this. We can do sushi, but you owe me next time to watch. Maybe this cute person will owe you next time. I'm looking at it. <laughs> go get him. I'll see you soon, Kikane. Okay, Janet. Yeah, Janet. I have to get going, darling. My best friend Tomochi is going to be back for dinner soon. We're going for sushi, which is a bummer. There's this Italian place in Kita Senju that I've been wanting to try forever. But every time we make plans, it fails. It's like an omen. I can't go before my birthday in January. I'm going to make that my plan for the night. It was nice meeting you, too. I'll make sure to send you a line message on the metro when I'm done with dinner, okay? <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, I guess I'll see you soon, then. <laughs> okay, Tane, darling. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share my channel. Thanks so much for the support.